Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to participate in the UbeSwap yield farming. If you don't know what UbeSwap is, uh, it's an automated market maker on Celo, so you can swap between any of the coins on the Celo blockchain. If you don't know what Celo is, uh, it's a blockchain that was designed from the ground up for mobile phones. Uh, well, actually mobile phone users, because it's very user-centered. Uh, for example, uh, users can map their wallet address to their phone number. Um, so it makes it super easy to send and receive Celo stable coins like Celo Euro or Celo Dollar uh, straight on your phone. And you can even send it to phone numbers uh, of people who haven't signed up yet. So it's super cool, really user friendly. Recommend you uh, check it out. Um, and yeah, so for this tutorial, you're going to need a couple things. First thing that you're going to need is the Valor wallet. Uh, the Valor wallet is the native mobile wallet for Celo. You can get it on iOS or Android. Um, and you're gonna need some cello dollars. So as you can see, I have 80 cello dollars here. You really only need like one cello dollar, <laughs> a very small amount, because cello is super efficient. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is figure out what farm we wanna participate in. Um, so whenever you farm, you're just depositing assets, two assets, a pair of assets to provide liquidity for people to trade between them. And you earn interest. Uh, and what makes yield farming unique is that UbeSwap is giving out a lot of their Ube tokens to people who provide liquidity. So you earn even more interest. Uh, there's lots of great pools that you can choose from, all with varying yields. Um, I think it's in ascending order. So Ube, Solo Euro, I know is the highest yielding one and then uh, so on and so forth. Um, I'm not too sure though about the others. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Mula Solo Dollars, Mula Solo Euros pool. Um, primarily just because they're stable in value. Um, so I won't like really be exposed to any price fluctuations on the assets themselves. Um, and also I won't be exposed to what's called impermanent loss. I won't dive into it in this video, but basically if you choose a pair to where the assets fluctuate a lot, um, you'll miss out on some of the gains or you'll experience greater losses if the asset is going down. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll leave some helpful links in the description for you to learn about this if you want. Um, but yeah, I just want you to be aware of the different risks that you're exposed to while doing this. Um, but the benefits, I think, definitely outweigh the cons. So I'm going to go ahead and participate in the Moolah Solo Dollar, Moolah Solo Euro pool. If you don't know what Moolah is, um, or what Moolah Solo Dollars or Moolah Solo Euros are. So Moolah is a, a savings and lending app on Solo. So you, people can deposit Solo assets and earn interest, and borrowers can borrow Solo assets and pay a small fee. Uh, whenever you deposit assets into Moolah, like let's say Solo Dollars, if I deposit 100 Solo Dollars, I'll get back 100 Moolah Solo Dollars, which represents my claim of 100 Solo Dollars from the Moolah pool. Um, and by holding these Mula Solo dollars, I earn additional ones over time. And that's the interest that I earn on my deposit. Uh, so whenever I go to claim, I can claim more than I originally deposited. Um, and as you can see, I don't hold any Mula or I don't have any deposits in Mula right now. Uh, that's fine because we can actually deposit straight into Mula uh, and withdraw actually straight from UbeSwap. Uh, so why don't we get started there? So now that we've chosen the farm, uh, we're going to need to connect our wallet. So this is where we'll connect Valora. I'm going to go ahead and click allow. And as you can see, we got an error connecting. Uh, this sometimes happens. I just <laughs> do try again. I'm on Android. It is a little bit glitchy. This is super early on. So I'm sure these bugs will be ironed out by the time most people see this video. And as you can see, our wallet has connected. It shows the address part of it down in the left hand corner and it shows my cello dollars balance. So now we're gonna click the target currency. So I'm gonna deposit, I'm gonna click Moolah cello dollars, uh, and we're essentially going to be depositing into Moolah. Um, not 500, I'm gonna do 50. I wish I had 500. Um, and then click deposit. And as you can tell, there will be no fees for this, at least not on UbeSwap side, because it's actually just depositing it straight into Moolah. It's just routing it through Moolah. Um, and it'll send me over to Valora to confirm it. And it gave us an error. Why did it give us an error? Not too sure. Uh, again, I sometimes get errors <laughs> on Android 
and I just brute force it. So we're just going to go ahead and do this again, and hopefully it'll go through this time. As you can see, the transaction was submitted, so I'm going to click close. Um, and if we go up to here, the transaction was deposited. So I can click view on Block Explorer. And as you can see, it was a success 15 seconds ago. That's how fast the solo blockchain is. And as you can see, my solo dollars balance has now changed. And so it's now only 30. So now that I have some Mula solo dollars, why don't I swap the rest of my solo dollars into Mula solo euro, the other asset that we need to participate in that pool. So I have 30, so I'll just I'll type in 32. So I'll just type in 30, click swap. Confirm swap, take us through the same process, click allow, should pop us back. And again, we have another error. Um, and again, I don't know why we have this error. Could just be that we're on Android. Um, it's tough because there's like just a, a bunch of different phones on Android. So there's a lot of weird quirks that happen. But we'll just try this again and hopefully it'll go through just like last time. Just give it a second here. It'll pop us back, waiting for confirmation. And we're good. Or it was submitted at least. So let's scroll up here. And as you can see, it has been swapped. So I can view that too, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead and go to farm. So actually before we farm, we're going to have to, so it's kind of a two-step process uh, right now. So before you farm, you're going to have to add liquidity to the pool. So what we're going to do is we'll click add liquidity on the pool tab. We're going to select our tokens. So again, we're doing Mula Solo Dollars, Mula Solo Euros. And I'll click max on the Solo Euros because I have less, uh, or do I? No, wait. I guess... I can do either or um, they may, oh no, I scroll down and then, and then it'll show. So I have insufficient, I can't do um, my max Moolah Solo dollars because I don't have an equivalent value of Moolah Solo euros. So you have to deposit an equivalent value and then the protocol will maintain um, that ratio itself. Um, but whenever you deposit, it has to be the same. So I'll click max Solo euro because I have less value of that. I'll click approve, click allow. And we're good. So I'll go back to pool. And we should wait a second. And see, but here shortly we should, I could even click this. So as you can see, I know I still have some Moolah Solo Euro. So maybe the, maybe the transaction didn't go through. So what I'll do is I'll just try it again. Last solo euro, click max on the solo euro, click approve, click allow. So that was good. And then now we click supply. So it added it and then we confirm the supply now. So this will be a second confirmation in Valora and done. I think one additional one. I'm not sure if that was actually just, oh, no, yeah, so one, one more additional one. And as you can see, we added uh, the Mulasolo dollars and Mulasolo euro. So now that we're deposited into the pool, we can go back here uh, and then boom, there you go. We can click manage, we can add or remove, and we can view accrued fees in their awesome analytics uh, tab. We're not gonna do that now though. What we are gonna do is we're gonna add to the, uh, solo dollar, solo euro pool, Mula solo, solo euro. Um, so we click there and then we click deposit. We'll select max and then we'll approve. And it actually tells you your weekly rewards there. So we'll earn 1.3 uh, Ube on that deposit of like, I think a total of like something like $50, right? If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so boom, we should be good now that the liquidity has been added.
or perhaps we got another error just like last time to where it actually wasn't added. <laughs> I think that's what happened. So we'll do this again. Deposit. This is going better because we got that second screen. We're getting depositing liquidity. Give it a second. It's doing some magic on the back end. <laughs> Or perhaps this is another error, you know? <laughs> That's something I always ask myself when we're interacting with it this early. I'll give it a second. If it doesn't confirm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel it. I'm gonna try it again. Like I said, I have a very, my method's just brute force. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually go ahead and cancel it. Do deposit again, confirm it. And there we go, it deposited this time. I can view it on Block Explorer, but that's not what I'm interested in. What I am interested in is this. As you can see, it tells us our total deposits. And briefly here, well, actually, I don't know if we'll get a chance to see it because I deposited such a little amount. But in some of my other pools, so I'll, I'll hop back over to, how about this? Well, actually, I don't want to show you my other pool. <laughs> but in the other pool, they, they actually start, like, you'll see it in real time. So boom, there we go. We got our first little fraction of an Ube, um, but we'll be earning with just this small amount, again, just 20 or a, 50, a $58 deposit. We're making 1.3 Ube per week. Ube is currently valued at like 5.2. So you're earning like about six bucks um, on a $50 deposit every week. That's like 10% interest every week. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this won't last for long. Um, so. Get in while you can. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, uh, and let me know if you, what other videos you wanna you wanna you want on Solo. Um, there's lots of cool projects, uh, lots of cool stuff to, sh to choose from. I'm holding off on Moolah just because I know they're rolling out um, a new user interface. Um, but yeah, check out Solo Hub. Let me know what you want to see. We'll definitely get a tutorial in for Poof eventually. Uh, resource block all these. Uh, so let me know what you want to see. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to get to them all. And yeah, take care. Bye.